So brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ, in accordance to my understanding, my understanding, we have two dimensions, two dimensions of true worship. So in accordance to my understanding, there are two dimensions in worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Now the first dimension are in two levels, which are the fear of God and understanding. So what is the fear of God and to understand Him or to understand God? Job chapter 28 verse 28 says, And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. So our worship has to be full of the fear of God and understanding. In the fear of God dwells in his secret. In the fear of God dwells in his secret. What I'm saying is this. In the book of Psalms, you know, Psalms chapter 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shield or show them his covenant. So when you have the fear of God in you, God will reveal his secret to you. His secret is not revealed to anybody. So only to the true worshippers, worship God in spirit and truth. In the fear of God, you know, uh, sorry, in the fear of God dwells, it dwells wisdom. Okay? In the fear of God dwells wisdom. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Also in the fear of God dwells knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So that means anyone who is a worshiper of God embrace knowledge. And embrace wisdom and instruction. Yeah, that's why these people who worship God in such a manner, they have the fear of the Lord inside them. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 14, Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. So God himself is he's telling us he is the understanding and he is the uh, uh, you know, the strength. So our strength is drawn from God when we fear Him. A man or a woman of understanding have an excellent spirit. And you know, understanding, knowledge, all of them, it is the, the first things which comes, it is the fear of God, will introduce, initiate us, initiate us into you know, the fear of, you know, into understanding, into, also into knowledge and also into wisdom, also following his instruction. So we say, we are saying here, a man or a woman of understanding have an excellent spirit. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 27. He that has knowledge spares his words. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. God desires us to sing with understanding. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 3. Through wisdom is an house builded and by understanding it is established. The, this is now, I want to speak a very powerful point here. This first dimension requires faith, hope and love in the life of a true worshiper. Because a worshiper, when he or she does not have faith, hope, and love, is not entitled to be called a true worshiper. We see, we, people need to see the love of God, faith, and the truth in that person. 
First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Now this is a type of life or love. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The name of the first dimension of true worship is called kingdom worship. That's why a kingdom worship, first things you need to seek is the kingdom first. Matthew chapter 11 verse 11, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a, a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth the violence, and the violence take it by force. Why the kingdom of God is taken by force, not by the weak? Why? This is in the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not man, is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And the, 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 the great reason or powerful reason behind why we need to be violent to take the kingdom of God, it is because Satan will not allow us to have righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. And our right is in the kingdom of God. And he knows that our right in the kingdom of God. He will not, uh, you know, allow you to have peace, nor righteousness in your family, in your work with God. But so you need to be violent. He said, regardless of my mind, of what I'm feeling, be, you know, I will just trust in Jesus. I will just seek the kingdom of God first. I will just be violent to have that peace in my life. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out of that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Imagine. This big kingdom of God individually is within you and me. Do you understand what I'm saying? The kingdom of God is big. It's so big. And this big, it's in you, not outside of you. So don't look the kingdom of God out, outside of you. It is in you with a condition and the condition is to believe. And it will come to you. You remember even demons. Uh, even, even a person can contain millions of demons in him. So a man's spirit's life is so big that can contain God. That's why God dwells in us. That is the mystery. That is me. This mystery is so powerful. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So powerful. So God can stay in your life whole kingdom of God <laughs> can be in you. Yeah. Can be in you. That's why you when you 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 don't you don't worship God in spirit and truth. So you are you are at, outside of God. You feel a vacuum inside you and that vacuum will only be filled by true God. And you will have peace. But if it is filled with false God, false God, that is Satan, demons, or material things, you will still have that God who will satisfy you by Him being in your life. And this is only through believing in Him as a worshiper of God. Luke chapter 17 verse 20. And when He was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God do not come with observation, 
neither shall they say lo here or lo there for behold the kingdom of God is within you and within me to Jesus be the glory Amen <laughs>